What's up guys, Timmy Gamer here and welcome back to another Nice and Dragons video. And today we're gonna interview T Dunks. What's up guys? So talk a bit about your channel and what do you do on it? Alright guys, so essentially my main game is Knights and Dragons. Uh, I have done a little bit of Criminal Legacy, some Clash of Clans. Not sure if I'm going to stick with Boom Beach, but that's a possibility. Um, but yeah, that's the basis right now. Mainly just Knights and Dragons. Nice. So when did you start uh, to make Knights and Dragons video and why? So I started um, early April is when I started recording. I've probably been playing the game since like November or so of last year. So I've been playing for a while and uh I was just sitting there one day just watching Reversal. I, I used to watch Reversal back when he had, you know, like no subscribers and very little views. And, uh, you know, I just watched him there and just kind of said, wow, you know, like that'd be cool to actually do that and put out that content and see, you know, that people like the stuff that I'm putting out. So one day I contacted Rev and was like, hey, how do you record? And... He's just helped me out, and then eventually uh, he, he showed me, like, oh, you know, SCR screen recorder for Android, use that. And then, uh, you know, he helped me out with that stuff. And then, like, a week into me having my channel, he gave me uh, the Guild Spotlight on his Guild Spotlight series back when he did that. And uh, in a day, I went from having nine subscribers to a hundred and, like, 38 in one day so wow. that gave me a huge boost so it was really big so uh, do you think about making uh, more games on your channel in the future yeah yeah i'm definitely considering it like i said you know i've already done a couple different games uh you know clash clans really really wasn't well received but i like playing it so i still might throw a few episodes on there just not you know like on a weekly schedule uh, Criminal Legacy I'll do because actually right now there's a war going on as we speak and uh, we're top 25 so you know we're actually decent so I might bring out some content on that and then uh, I mean if there's a game that comes out that you know I like I'll probably bring it and show it and see how it goes. So why did you choose a T-Dunks as your name on, on YouTube? So it's a mix. Well, I've had this nickname since like sixth grade. So I've, I've had it for like 10 years now or more than that. But uh, it's a mix between my first name and my last name. Uh, it's, a, it's a combining of both of them. So it just kind of stuck with me after middle school and I just decided to roll with it. Okay, so it's about the same thing at, uh, as T-Job. Yeah, yeah. So who inspired you to make uh, to make videos? Well, initially I started off watching like uh, Jason Arcella, who now uh, boot ramp game boot ramp, and then uh, he's moved over to Boom Beach now. He no longer brings out uh, Knights and Dragons. And then once Rev started, I started watching Reversal a lot, and uh, he he's really the one that you know when I decided oh. You know, like, I want to do this. That's who I want to. So, you know, he was the inspiration. He helped me out. Um, Obviously, he was a huge help with that spotlight. So, yeah, I mean, I definitely say that he was my inspiration to get it going. For how long do you think you'll still be doing uh, videos on YouTube? Well, I mean, you know, as long as I can honestly say that I can give good quality content. I mean, if... If I'm not doing good or, you know, if people don't like what I'm putting out, if my views drop and people, you know, are no longer watching it or I get bad, you know, feedback or something, then, you know, I'm not giving good quality entertainment, then I'll stop. But, I mean, as long as, you know, they don't shut the servers down on us or something, I mean, I could see doing it for, you know, a few more years or, you know, who knows. 
how long does it take you to make a video? So edit the video and do all all that stuff. All right, yeah. So I mean, it, it definitely depends on the video. So like I was doing a guild spotlight there for a while before my computer crashed, um, and that would take you know an hour or so of just editing plus you know the 10 minutes or so to record and then the processing and the rendering and all that so i mean it all in all probably turned into a two to two and a half hour process you know from start record time to editing to um you know the rendering to processing and putting it up on uh youtube and stuff like that it probably takes like two to two and a half hours so what's your favorite epic? One fusible epic, one one chest epic, and one guild war epic. Alright, yeah, so uh, let me see. Alright, so fusible. I've always liked the way that Komodo looks, but I also really, really, really would love an aquatic because my count is lacking like a really strong water. I did just get Arbor Steel Plus, but you know, an aquatic, I think, would just be a lot cooler. It also looks a lot cooler. So that's my fusible. Um, chest epic. I like the Triskelion war gear. I mean, it's not just because I have it, but, I mean, I like the way it looks. Yeah. I like the um, axe. The axe just looks awesome. And then I like how it has, like, the scriptures and stuff on it. Um, and it's really, really strong. And I, I like the, uh, the fire-wind combo. And then for Guild War, I I would probably say that my favorite would be, this one's kind of a tough one. Uh, I like the Stormwatch Raymond and how that looks. Um, I don't like that amount of water, but I like the looks of it. You know, if it was a water air, I probably would have ran, but... Uh, I really like the looks of that. It looks, you know, pretty BA. So what's your favorite iOS game apart from uh, Nice and Dragons? My favorite game apart from Knights and Dragons. Um, I like Clash Clans and I like Criminal Legacy. But if I had to choose, I'd probably choose Criminal Legacy. Because uh, it's, you know, just like Knights and Dragons. But there's really nobody that's, like, really overpowered yet. Nobody has, you know, like, all epic pluses and that they're just going to run through. I mean, right now they're having the first legendary come out. So, I mean, I'd probably say Criminal Legacy because, you know, everybody's starting off on a fair playing field, you know. Yeah. So, for our last question, what do you think about the new, uh, the new Raid Boss event? All right, so the raids. Um, I I think that they're pretty boring, to be honest. I mean, it's it's really repetitive, and the playability of it's really terrible. Uh, you know, I mean, when a lot of people talk about, like, console games, a big thing is playability. Well, you know, with Knights and Dragons, yeah, it's more of a mobile game, but still, like, the playability of the raid bosses is terrible. It's just repetitive, and it takes long, and... You know, the only thing that I really, really like about the raid boss is the milestone rewards and how frequently you get them. I mean, it makes me want to spend more gems so I can get more, um, you know, armors so that I can, you know, max out the epics that I just got and stuff like that. So, you know, I mean, honestly, I hope that Gree makes it like a one day flash event, like once or twice a month. So like, you know, one week, all of a sudden, you know, a day before, epic raid boss tomorrow you know i mean obviously i don't think that they'll have the epic rewards then but uh i definitely think that that'd be more well received uh because three days is too long for this event there's you know there's not much pvp there is no pvp in it so i mean it's a very boring event and honestly i mean i don't i think if Gree replaces this with wars like you know if yeah. this happens two out of the four weeks a month I honestly think that we're going to see a lot of people retire. I know that some of the stronger people in my alliance have said, you know, this is going to drive them away from the game if they continue to do it. Okay, nice. So that's going to be it, guys, for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you're not yet. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.